Hey guys, welcome to Traditional Bow Hunting and Wilderness Podcast. This is Jason Sam Kovac, and we're going to talk today about why I choose to shoot a longbow. So many great recurves out on the market, so many different options for bows. Um, when I got started, this here is the Martin Mamba recurve that I started with back in 1994 was when I bought this bow and uh, it's been through a lot but I started with a recurve and, uh, and then I went to a long bow. I shot a bunch of recurves, had many different recurves in my day and uh, first one actually came to me as a gift, first long bow. Uh, I shot that Martin Mamba, I went to a Brackenberry custom uh, recurve, went to two Robertson, three Robertson custom recurves and, uh, and then John um, for helping him build his house being over there doing work with him, he bought me a Jim Reynolds longbow. He shot a longbow, he bought me one. It was my first longbow ever. I took that bow to the range with him. No quiver, no nothing. I grabbed the bow, I grabbed my arrows. We went down to, I can't remember the name of the, the archery place there, but it was in Royal Oak, uh, Michigan. And we went there and uh, I shot my first arrow out of it and I was just in love. It was, it was done, done deal. I was hooked immediately. I shot a bunch more arrows. I shot a group of 10 arrows. They were just so tight and perfect. And I just fell in love with it. So... What is it about that longbow? Because then once that happened, I never went back. That was in like, I want to say it was like 1999, maybe somewhere near 2001. Anyway, it's been over 20 years of shooting strictly longbows. And uh, the reason for it is, is because it's a preference of mine. Is a longbow any better than a recurve? No, not even a little bit. There are some differences that make me lean that way, but there isn't one better than the other. There's nothing wrong with recurves. Uh, and I get that question all the time. Why do you only shoot a longbow? What is it about a longbow that you shoot? Why do you only shoot hill style longbows? I, I get this stuff constantly. The answer is simple. It's personal preference. With that said, I will tell you some of the things that I like better about a longbow, but it doesn't make a longbow better than a recurve for everybody, okay? It's all personal preferences, the whole thing. Um, I got, you know, you can kill just as much stuff with a recurve as you can with a longbow, as you can with a softbow. It is, again, personal preference. Why do people shoot hybrid longbows? Some shoot ASL style longbows. Some shoot, uh, um, you know, R&D, reflex, deflex longbows, you know, static limb recurves, regular recurves. Um, you know, there's, you know, all kinds of different reasons for everything. And it's all just personal preference. They all do the same thing. They take an arrow and they shoot it out of there at a speed and hitting a target and puts the broadhead through what you need it to. Doesn't matter any more than that. Okay. So don't overthink it. But since so many people ask, what is it about the longbow that makes me say no recurves anymore, strictly longbows, and I've been that way for 20 years? What is it about these bows that do that for me? Let's break it down. Let's look at it for a little bit. And again, some of the things may be irrelevant. They may be uh, nitpicky, but they are mine. They are my reasons for choosing. One of them is I like the way that the longbow feels in my hand. Okay, All recurves have... A, sorry, we're kind of jammed in the corner here. We have boxes everywhere. We sold the house three days ago. We're moving. Everything is packed up. I don't even have my other tripod. I, everything is getting ready to be uh, tucked away. So there's not going to be a ton more videos in here. As a matter of fact, that bear that normally stands here that you've seen in all my other videos, now as if it's in my trailer right now, tomorrow that bear will live at the Bear's Den Pizza Place in Grayling, Michigan. I've donated it to there and it will be on display there so that hundreds of thousands of kids and stuff can get their pictures taken with it and enjoy it. But my standing black bear that was there is now at the Bear's Den in uh, Bear's Den Pizza in Grayling, Michigan. If you haven't been there, go there. It is all Fred Bear memorabilia. He even has Fred Bear's Mustang parked inside of there. Fred Bear bows everywhere, articles, you name it. It's amazing. Um, it's an incredible place and their food's fantastic. Bear's Den Pizza in Grayling, Michigan, uh, which is also where Fred Bear's, you know, that's where their factory was at, was in Grayling, Michigan. So for Bear Archery. Now, point being, um, we are in this little area here, so I got to kind of set stuff down and move it around. Won't be many more videos in this house. Like I said, we're pretty soon we'll be out of here for good. And, uh, but with a recurve, the grip on a recurve, this one here is my son's bow. And uh, this is his Sam Sage, and it's, you know, we got a couple of these. I have my daughter's, we have his, my wife has one. Fantastic bows. I got a whole other video on the Sam Sage, and I got a whole other video coming up soon about uh, mass-produced bows, but you cannot go wrong with these. These are fantastic. But the grip on recurve bows, 
looks very familiar to to most people that have shot bows before if you're a compound guy notice that grip on those they look very similar to a compound bow grip okay they are very similar to it even in the way they are shot you get that hand in there you get that nice loose grip you get that you can almost use a, a sling on there but you want that loose grip you see people shooting them like this or pinky out or whatever like they're drinking fine china whatever you're doing but this is that recurve style grip very familiar to a compound very similar so if you're going from a compound to a recurve it's a very very smooth transition to go to one of these grab that bowl line that up you know i mean there's not a lot of different you see a lot of recurve guys shoot that bowl standing straight up you know the bowl's vertical like this as it is like this to them and they come in and then they bring it up and they put it where they want and then when they're ready they basically draw it back get themselves in line that's all there is to it um but it's very compound-esque Nothing wrong with that. It's fantastic. These bows work great. For me, the grip on a long bow, especially mine being a hill style, is a straight grip. Okay? Just to, I'll put my hand back there so you can see it without the arrows. But it is a straight grip. Okay? There is no locator. There is no dish. There is no nothing. It is a broomstick. A hockey stick. Grab hold of it, whole hand, and run it. And that's exactly what I do. Put my whole hand on there, and I like it. It feels really good to me. So... The grip is a huge one. The weight is another one. The weight of this bow is a lot lighter than those bows. It's just a joy to carry, a pleasure to carry in the woods. Not a big deal. Again, I told you some of these are nitpicky. I like the way this shoots for me. My hand, when I have an arrow on here, we grab an arrow. When I put an arrow on this string, I shoot basically right off the knuckle. If you look at that, I'll bring that in here, see if I can again. We're kind of jammed in this corner. But see how that arrow is riding basically right on top of my finger? It's almost not even touching the shelf. I, my hand is right there. I like that right on there. I like to feel that shaft across my finger there, and I want that right in that spot. When I'm shooting with a recurve, it's a little harder to do that because you have that shelf. And you have this, this ledge in here, okay? So it's in the way. See how that's not quite the same? I can't get up there to it. I can get close, but not the same. And I prefer that feature of a uh, of a longbow personally now also on a recurve the limbs are skinny this way again nothing wrong with that okay they're fat this way skinny this way but in my opinion they're more prone to damage recurve limbs by design being thinner through here in my opinion are more prone to damage more prone to limb twisting more prone to issues like that where a longbow is look at this thickness difference in those limbs Okay, it's just a big block of wood is all this is. It's like bending a broomstick. Okay, it's a huge difference in there. But to me, that matters. I like the durability factor of a longbow. Not that recurves are not durable. Not that they ever give you problems. I just like the fact that, I can, that, that this thing can take abuse on levels that are unheard of. So can those. But to me, this design is just something that I'm going to call more durable in my opinion. I just like that factor of it. Um, and I also, there's notice here, this is a big one for me. This is one of the absolute biggest ones I noticed when I started taking a longbow in the woods. This, okay, see how this is all open in here? Okay, right there. The string doesn't touch the limb. That's what actually classifies it as a longbow. The string does not touch the uh, back of the bow or the belly of the bow. On a recurve, it does. See how the string is resting here on the limb tips? Right there. This grabs every branch, every stick, everything there is, and it pinches it in there, and it's near impossible to get it out. And sometimes you'll even pull the string right off the knocks on there. You'll fight through there. With this, that never happens. Everything that goes in just slides right out. It's never a problem. So in the thick brush, this was a nightmare for me, and I was snagging it all the time. Yes, they make brush buttons and things, but you push right past them. It happens all the time. So that's why I stopped using those back in the day. But here... I don't have that issue. So for me, that's a big factor. Um, I like that. I also love, again, personal preference. I like the thicker limb design, the tip strength and stuff like that. Now you get these with veneers and um, with uh, limb tip uh, overlays and stuff like that too. And they're, they're good and strong also. But I just like the thickness of this limb as a whole versus the recurve limbs. Again, it is personal preference. There's nothing more uh, to it than that. It's just simple personal preference, but I like that factor. Now, when it comes to shooting, the personal preference factor is huge in the fact that this draws 
very predictably. They both do. And, and again, we're talking nitpicky stuff. But for me, when I bend a longbow, these limbs bend in one direction. Okay, that's all there is to it. So if I were to take this here and uh, I draw this back, if you watch that limb, I'll just stay low here. So you watch this and I'll put it vertically here. If we can, I'll draw it this way. But that limb just flows straight back. Okay, it just bends straight back and then it goes straight forward. That's all there is to it. Okay, there's nothing more to it. When you draw a recurve bow, you have the reflex, you have the deflex, you have the limb tip, you have all these things moving in all these different directions. So when I pull this back, you'll see the bend, the bend and the open of that. So you see, I think you see it there, yep, you'll see all of this stuff happen and change as it does it. And that's a lot of different directional type things going on. Not that that's bad, but for me personally, my preference, I like the feel in my hand of this straight limb, one linear direction bend. When I let that string go, you feel it just go straight. I don't, if, if I screw up and have a bad release, which I do all the time, this is still very linear in travel, where if I screw that release up and I pluck it, you get a lot more cattywampusness that comes through that recurve. You can almost feel it. You can hear it. Okay, so there's big differences there in that preference on there. Uh, again, none of them are wrong. These are just reasons that I choose and prefer um, a longbow. I shoot better with this. I find it more forgiving for my shooting than a recurve is. What do I mean by forgiving? As we said, straight grip, so it doesn't matter where I apply that pressure at in here, where a recurve has got to be right in there and you got to shoot that sweet spot at the same time. On this, it doesn't matter if I hold here, 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 what I do with this, it makes no difference. On a recurve, they are a little more subject to having to be exactly where you put your hand in that grip. If you vary that, you, you put different heel, you do things because of the shape of this, it tends to change the arrow flight. Okay, so you got to be very precise with that. With this, I don't have to be precise, not even a little bit. Just grab it, yank it, and shoot it. The linear direction of the limbs being just one bend means, again, that it's much more forgiving of my mistakes here. What I find is that when I shoot a longbow and I screw up, which I screw up a lot. I mean, I screw up a lot on my shooting. So many mistakes. This gives me better chances of the arrow still going where I want it to. The recurves are a little more finicky for me. Again, everything is for me. But for me, they're a little more finicky, and I have to try a lot harder to get that arrow to go there. I have to be more conscious of my limb position, or my finger position. Too much bottom finger, too much top finger, too much in a groove, too much pinch here, not too much heels. Too, too much of anything with a recurve for me changes it. With this longbow, it doesn't care. It just doesn't care. It's kind of like the AR versus the AK um, kind of scenario. ARs are amazing. Everybody wants an AR. They're incredible and they are fantastic. I own a bunch of them, um, but they're very, they're Ferraris. They're precision machines. The longbow is more like the AK. Sloppy, dirty, but never fails. Always gets it done and puts it there where it's supposed to be every time in every single condition. In my opinion, for a hunting tool, it's, it's a better system for that for me. Again, can't take anything away from a recurve. I never would. My whole family hunts with recurves. Most of my friends hunt with recurves. I, I can never take anything away from a recurve. These are the reasons I shoot a longbow. Is it longer? Yes. This is it. Standing on the ground. I mean, I'm 5'6", and uh, this thing's almost as tall as me. 64-inch bow. Almost as tall as me. You compare that with a 58-inch Barton Mamba right here. I mean, look at the difference here. That's a big difference. Does it matter to me? Not at all. Does it matter to me in a tree? Not at all. Does it matter to me on the ground? Not at all. Does it matter to me when I'm sitting on my butt? Not at all. It doesn't make any difference to me. That length doesn't matter. The, the factors of the shootability of this, the simplicity, the fact that I get my eye right over that arrow, all of these things come into play. The quietness, there's no denying it is quieter, okay, that a longbow is quieter because the string never comes in contact with the tips. So it's naturally, inherently, going to be a quieter bow. Some bows, depending, like, uh, you know, like you find this one on, uh, on my son's bow, you don't hear anything in here, okay, on the limbs here where this opens. So if I pull that, oh, we're losing the tripod. Hold on. Let's set you back up. Again, I told you we're kind of in this weird scenario here, but if I pull that, you don't hear anything there, okay? There's nothing going on. This one, which hasn't been strung in a long time, Still probably has a little bit of wax in here if you get wax build up. Listen.
you can hear that creaking in there. So that's always been something too that would bother me. You keep your strings waxed, you're all set. This is a B50 Dacron on this one, B50 Dacron on that one, B50 Dacron on that one. Um, but if you had your string waxed up pretty good or when you put a new string on for that first little bit of time, every time you draw, you hear that brrr, brrr, as that opens up from that wax that's in there. Yes, you can put moleskin in there. Yes, you can do a bunch of stuff. Again, I'm nitpicking. Nothing wrong with these bows. But a long bow, since it doesn't have any of those issues, is going to be quieter in shot, quieter in draw, quieter on every kind of level. Um, these are just a factor for me. I love a long bow. I love a recurve, but long bows are what I choose to shoot. They shoot better for me. They match my style better. Whatever you choose, nothing wrong with that. Find what bow works for you and use it. And don't let anybody tell you differently. Don't let somebody come on here and say, you need to shoot a long bow or you need to shoot a recurve. I get people on there too that jump in on my social media. I can't believe you shoot that thing. You shoot that bow with all that hand shock in there in a long bow. You need to get yourself a recurve. <sighs> you wonder sometimes. If I wanted to shoot a recurve, I would shoot a recurve. I choose the longbow, and then that's one thing. Number two, there's no hand shock in them, okay? This is a hill style longbow. Given one of the best designs ever made, made by Steve Terrain, Northern Miss Longbows, he builds all my bows, and I honestly think he is by far one of the absolute best bow builders that's ever lived. Um, I have five of his bows now, and, and that's all I'll shoot. They're incredible. That said, this, uh, you know, people are like, oh, straight limb, hill style, longbow, that's going to have a lot of hand shock. No, they don't, especially when you shoot the right arrows with them. I shoot a 57 pound bow and I'm shooting a 720 grain arrow. You think I get hand shock from that? If you do, you don't know what you're talking about or you're not shooting things right. Okay, these things are incredible, but they are different than a recurve. If you are coming from a compound bow, a recurve very well might be your best transition. Okay. The other factor is price. Okay. When we start talking custom bows, there's not a lot of difference between long bows and recurves. Maybe a hundred bucks either way. Uh, for most of them, they're all going to be right in that 800, 750 to $1,200 kind of range. All things are expensive. Now, heck, we were just at Jay Sporting Goods and we saw a compound bow for $2,000. It's like, really? You know, so, so like I said, prices are what they are. In the custom world, bows are going to be recurves and comp or, uh, long bows, very similar in price. In the Recurve world though you do have and now a couple there are a couple longbows there too But you have a lot of options in a very budget-friendly range this Samick Sage bow costs less than this quiver that's on it Okay, this bow costs less than this quiver on there um, And did I bring out I thought I did but I don't know where I Put it but I thought I had out here I must not have but uh, my daughter's got another one of these bows too And it's got a, um, a Thunderhorn bow quiver on it that quiver cost more than her bow did Okay, these bulls are very affordable. These Samic Sages and the Variants and the Black Hunters and the things like that, uh, they cost less money. These also take down. You can take this apart and break it down to very small compact size by removing the limbs for travel. You can get long bows in a takedown too, but there are no mass produced take down long bows like that. They all are going to be, if you want to take down one, it's going to be custom order and you're going to pay extra money for that. Where a lot of the recurves are going to give you that option. So you have to weigh what's going to be best for you, what you're looking for out of it. But for me and what I do, all of the, the things that, you know, the, the full length, the, the little extra length, um, the having to carry it in a travel tube rather than break it down and fit it in a duffel bag, all of those things are negated by the fact that it's the best shooting bow I've ever shot. It, I love everything about it. I love to carry it. I love to shoot it. I feel I shoot it better than any other bow. It wins for me hands down. So that is the reasons that I use a long bow. What you choose, that's completely up to you. And there's nothing wrong with whatever choice you make. Thanks for watching.